What is up, you guys? I have the whole day off today. Bliss. So I know I want to go to Target. Um, I want to go to Best Buy. And there might be a stop or two along the way. I'm not sure yet. Other than that, before we come back home, we're just out and about seeing what we can get into. Let's go do this. Let the adventure begin. So, hold on. Let me do this turn test. Got you guys on a tripod this time. And we're good. Nobody's going to fall over while we drive. All right. So, I kind of want a coffee. But I think I'm going to wait until I get to Target and just grab one there. Save some time. I wish I had more time in the day. I wish there were more days in the week. But such is life. So, anyway. Almost lost you. Let me hold on. There we go. Everybody good? Hang on. So I want to go to Target and I want to go to Best Buy mainly to look at more options for live streaming. Um, we've been doing a couple live streams, experimenting with the whole channel in general. So I'm tired of using a little webcam in our laptop on our streams. It doesn't, doesn't do it for me. So I'm going to look at a couple options today. There's a HDMI cord I could possibly get as an adapter for the GoPro, but I don't know if my Windows is up to date enough to use a GoPro as a webcam. So I'm going to look at a couple cameras and get some prices. I don't know if I'll buy anything today because I kind of want to buy something fun to do, like some Legos or something, maybe look at some Funkos. So I don't know. We're just going to have to get in there and see what they got. Since we started our channel, it was basically, hey, we should vlog our trips every time we go to Disney and then we'll have permanent home movies to live on YouTube and we can watch them back and reminisce about the trips that we've gone on. But lately I've just really been wanting to create more and do more on YouTube. So we're taking our channel in a new direction, which is just vlogging or creating every day. It is challenging because we don't have the most exciting lives. I mean, it's exciting to us, but to invite people to watch your just daily life might not be everyone's cup of tea, which is perfectly fine. Some people don't like things. Some people just don't eat vegetables because they don't like them and that's okay. But that's what we're doing. So we've been trying some things. We're trying to vlog around our town, around home, cooking, stuff like that. And we've been doing a few live streams, but if I'm gonna continue to do live streams, I'm out of the like testing phase, because it is fun. You meet people, people interact. I've got friends on YouTube that actually come and watch and show support. So, and special shout out to one of my good friends, Eddie G. Um, you can find them at youtube.com fans of something. He actually gave me a little nudge last night when I was going through it because my camera quality wasn't where I wanted it. But that's what you need in your life. You need support. You need people to say, hey, where's the content? So shout out to Eddie. Let's have a little drive and chat. Basically what I'm doing right now is experimenting with YouTube. I'm throwing pasta against the wall and I'm seeing if it sticks. I'm experimenting and trying things. I'm listening to big creators on tips and tricks. And we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. We will never quit YouTube, but I would like to take it more serious. I would like it to be what I do, but that is going to be my biggest challenge yet. Since we started doing this, there's never been a schedule. Um, our jobs are very demanding, and unfortunately, you have to hold down a job in life to support yourself. So that has to come first, but there's no reason we can't do YouTube after work. It just takes a little bit of energy, a little bit of effort, and a little bit of pixie dust. So we're going for it. What I'd like to do is kind of hammer out some kind of schedule in the near future of what we're going to do on each day, but that's hard to do because our life isn't really on a schedule. We kind of just do what is fun in the moment. So it's a lot of um, readjusting. 
At the time I am recording this, we have 530 subscribers on YouTube. 530, not 530K, just 530. And I would like to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel and joining us on our YouTube adventure. I like it, I like creating, I like documenting, I can dig it. It's hard to build a following, but that's okay. Those who wanna watch are obviously gonna watch, and the people that don't want to watch won't watch. That's fine. We all have different channels and different things that we like to watch and things we enjoy. Some people don't even go to Disney World, some people hate Disney World. That's fine too. There's something for everyone. But to you 530 first subscribers, to our channel, you're gonna see all the changes. You're gonna see the progress if you hang around. If you unsub, no big deal, no hard feelings. But to those who are rocking with us, we're going, we're going. Arrive to Target. Our Target is right across the street from the Daytona International Speedway. Anybody ever been there? I've been in there twice. All right, let's get into Target. It's not a super Target, but it's got what you need. I'm just going to electronics. Um, I call it the nerd corner where they have Funko and stuff like that. And we'll see what else we uh, want to look at. Georgie? Georgie? Iced coffee has been acquired. They have the Trenta size, my favorite. The bigger, the better. Splash of 2%, no sweetener. Delicious. Before I go over to electronics, I'm gonna check out Nerd Corner. See if there's anything good. Usually not. Let's check it out. I typically come back here to check out the Fungo Pops and the action figures they sell, but no offense to Target, I don't think they really care. The Funko used to be a little bit more organized on this shelf, and now they just kind of throw them out there. But I've never really found a super awesome Funko from Target. So let's see what they got. I do see a Disney one here. High School Musical. Um, they do have a bunch of Marvel stuff. I don't really collect Marvel unless I really, really want it. Um, they got some more Marvel down here from No Way Home. Sandman. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. The Lizard. Not really my style. Uh, I don't even really want it. <laughs> That's funny. But I don't even really feel like digging through this because I know I'm probably not going to find anything. Okay, I lied. So, I did some digging. I rearranged the pops for you, Target. They do have some Disney ones. So I found a Dale... We have a Disney 100 Elsa. Daisy. You got a classic Darth Vader. Um, you got Ruth from Ozark. This was still up to date. This is my favorite thing Netflix ever put out. Ozark, phenomenal series. And we got a Sharpay. High School Musical. Another shout out to Eddie. Got us into that. We still got to watch High School Musical 3, bro. Ruth. If you want to stop me, you guys know the rest. Other than that, I kind of want the Elsa, but I don't know. So, like basic pops like this, they can wait for me. I'm not a completionist, but I do like to buy. Oh, snap. We got an avatar. We got Miles. Don't have him yet. I don't, I don't really like him. I don't know. You know what I mean? I just buy what I like. I'm not a completionist. Oh, there's Marty Bird. I might have to get the Marty Bird. I'm going to think about Marty. But I feel, see, if I feel like I get Marty, then I got to get Ruth. Georgie? Georgie? Apparently, um, Captain Underpants is still trendy. Interesting. I'm trying to get back into reading. Not like I ever was a huge reader. Oh, they have these like step into reading Disney books. That's cool. But my my reading is not fundamental to me. 
I do like to read. It's just hard to find something to read. Oh, maybe I'll get back into Harry Potter. I didn't even know they had these still. Looks like they just have two. Oh, they have paperbacks. I still have mine. Maybe I'll dig those out later. I swear when Disney is like your kind of main thing in your life, you can spot a Mickey Mouse in the corner of your eye. So I was just walking like this, but I happen to see. You even see it? What do we got here? The Walt Disney Film Archives. The animated movies 1921 to 1967. Interesting. Doesn't tell me anything about it, but I'm interested. Not necessarily what I'm shopping for right now, but look at these. HyperX Quadcast microphones designed for streaming. Hmm. Interesting. They're on sale for $100. So I would need two for me and Tiffany. I'm going to have to do some homework on these. So there's this one. Oh, wow. This one's $129.99 because it has, I'm assuming, the customizable lighting. We got a black one and a white one. Oh, that's something to think about in the future. Not right now. On this end cap, I found a Rode mic. This is $100 as well. I'd rather get this. This is a trusted brand. Dynamic podcasting microphone. Interesting. They also have a road vlogging kit. This, this might be, yeah, this might be a thing. Not sure. I don't hate our setup, but sound is something I've not integrated into like our Disney vlogs. So that, that's a possibility. And they also have this, a lightweight directional microphone. This might be for like DSLRs though. I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some homework on this stuff. Watch a couple YouTube videos. Or they have this little one. Checking out some Legos, which I should not be. But look at these. These are, the Jurassic Park is $100. And the Raiders is $140. That's pretty cool. You got an Avatar one down there. That's $150 and that's not that cool to me. You got more indie avatar, avatar way of water, a smaller indie, but these aren't worth buying to me because that's still 50 bucks and it'll be done within an hour. And then you have your high end stuff over here. Oh man, I've, I've wanted this forever. <clears throat> 269. I didn't know they did an Atari. That's 240. Man, Legos are so expensive. Not a whole lot of options going on in Target for tech stuff. Seems like they're kind of downsizing that. I even looked for, they used to have a case specifically for GoPros and GoPros accessories. And that case is erased from existence. So that's why we're going to Best Buy. I figured Target wouldn't have stuff, but everybody likes walking around Target, right? Lego prices are outrageous. Can't buy any of those. But I do want to go home and um, check out that road, road vlogging kit. See if there's any reviews or anyone on YouTube that, that is using it so I can kind of see how that goes. That's not a priority, but that's something I could invest in in the future. The microphones aren't a priority either. I'm not trying to move away from streaming. I kind of want to ease more into streaming and I don't want to make streaming a priority because it is fun to have a conversation with people, whoever wants to show up. So off to Best Buy, which is right down the street. Across the strip, this used to be a rooms to go. They made it into a spirit Halloween. That's funny. I'm gonna check out Best Buy now. I'm just trying to get some ideas, see some items that I might be interested in in the future. This could be an all-in-one solution. Digital camera for content creators and vloggers. Don't have the money for it, but... And none of these are turning on right now, so I can't really test it. So, I'll have to do some homework. 750 hmm. I know in the vlogging community, this is the camera of choice. This is the G7X Mark III. However, it has a 
big autofocus issue, but they do have the G7X Mark II, which a couple of our favorite vloggers use, and these work pretty good. That's 629. Still too much for me. This might be more of my style. I currently have the Gorillapod, but I don't have this kit with the microphone. And I do like it. And I do like doing everything on my phone. This is only 75 bucks. This one is 90. I don't know the difference. Hmm. I have a lot of homework to do. I'm pretty sure I found what I'm looking for. So there's two. This this one is $100 and it's 1080p. This one's $170, but it's 4K. But this one says streaming camera. Oh, and it comes with a tripod. This one says for video meetings. Again, more homework. I would like 4K, but if this is the route we're going to take, I can get that pretty soon. Before I leave, I want to go in here and dream for a second. I don't know if you can tell the picture quality. It's ridiculous. It's $5,300. I want to go in the studios. I hope someday I can have a setup like this. It's like soundproof in here. This is like a perfect theater. Got the speakers, huge TV. This one's only 5000 Only. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to reality. Okay, so I think all my questions have been answered that I had. I can either save up about $200 to solve my, my streaming issue or save up about $800 by a new camera. And I could use that for both creating vlogs and streaming, microphone, tripod, all of that stuff. Or I could kind of slowly build up. It's not a priority, but I'm the type of person that likes to watch quality, you know what I mean? Like 4K, 8K, and stuff like that. So I do think it'll help overall. It's just not a priority right now. We got Christmas coming up, saving up for a wedding. So these are some things to think about. I'm also gonna check out some videos of all the stuff that I was kind of unsure about. Back home, nice and peaceful. And I've got a lot of homework to do. I've got a lot of products that I wanna look more into and learn about that I saw today before I make any crazy decisions on where we're going and what we're gonna do. So thanks for coming shopping with me, listening to the little talks, I enjoyed that. Hope you guys are liking the, the content while we're not at the parks. Um, we have a park day coming up in a couple weeks, so we'll be back out in good old Walt Disney World. Until then, if your dreams don't come true, make them. <laughs>